Hello everyone, today we're heading out of town on a weekend camping trip. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in County Line. It's almost 7 a.m. here. I'm up bright and early because we have to get packed. We're heading out of town on a weekend camping trip. I'm really, really excited here for it. I actually uh, just picked up that new toy hauler. But today, guys, we are going to be using our 2022 Chevy 3500. This was actually a work truck that I also use a daily. And this is going to work out perfectly because we are going to be towing a pretty big uh, toy hauler. You guys can see this is a voltage 40 foot toy hauler it's a triaxle and we are going to be bringing a few toys here with us the canyon maverick x3 and the all new electric tesla cyber quad here it is fully charged so we should be good to go there but hey let's get everything loaded on up i still have to get a few things and the family also has to finish getting packed The campgrounds we're heading to, guys, is roughly five hours away here. I think it's about 150, 200 miles, and it's just that uh, they're like 45 a mile per hour speed limit as it uh, max here. But I will say, guys, this toy hauler I think is one of the coolest here. I really do like all the detail here. Now, one thing I did do, as you guys just noticed here, I actually did uh, spend some time getting everything folded out here, just making sure everything works. Those uh, bottom jacks. So we're good to go there, and we are all loaded on up here but you guys can see the canopy works everything like that now one thing i do have to fold this back properly otherwise they might uh, end up unfolding as we're heading on out here but let me do that and i also need to make sure the family's good to go and i do want to grab a few snacks for that five hour drive Well guys, we're just getting on the road here right now. I am a bit surprised since it only took me about 45 minutes. I was ex uh, actually thinking it would take close to two hours to get everything packed up here. But we are actually going for a long weekend, so three days. And it's going to be pretty sweet here. I think it was about $99 a night here for the parking spot at the campgrounds. And it, from the sounds of it, it does look like they were sold out here. But if you guys do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button. It's uh, much appreciated and if you are uh, stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing but I will have to say guys on these big gooseneck uh, big fifth wheel uh, toy haulers you definitely want to use a pretty big truck a three quarter ton if not a one ton truck is definitely my choice here it's just a nice easy smooth drive uh, uh, to say it best here and this one here a brand new truck it has about 4,000 miles on it and this thing's pretty sweet now camping's a lot of fun here in FS22 and I do plan to get a few buddies uh, to come and game. Maybe some other farms, some YouTubers and do some multiplayer camp and I think that would be a lot of fun. There's so many opportunities to do some pretty cool videos and I will say guys I have a lot a lot of cool content coming within the next several weeks. Alright, I'm pulling into the gas station to get filled up on diesel. Actually, just now remembering, I have to fill up the diesel generator in the toy hauler. So this works out quite well. And uh, surprisingly, we're about 10 minutes from uh, the uh, area here, the campground. So that's good for us here. But we'll get fueled on up here. Actually, we could do both here because the generator here is gas. Oh boy, guys, this is probably going to be like $100 worth here. But while that fills on up, I'm going to use the restroom. And I should probably see if I could buy maybe a small bundle of firewood here just see kind of uh, what I could buy here that we might use. 
I picked up a nice cold Mountain Dew and a slice of pizza, so I'm ready to go here now. Let's see here. We'll put all those back. Let's see here. Oh, wow. $92. I will say, guys, I was pretty close here. But now that I'm thinking about it, how are we going to really maneuver this big tr uh, truck and trailer here? It's going to be a little tricky. Luckily, though, they don't seem to be this busy here. At hey, I guess everyone kind of sleeps in it, uh, and no one's up this early here. Uh, like, we got up early, but I will put down the camera and Catch you guys back as we're getting to campgrounds. Well, guys, we arrived almost five hours later. Really not much traffic here, but I do have to get signed on. And it's, I, I believe I just have to put my name down. Awesome. Oh, okay, we're good to go here. Just reading the directions. So they said any spots. I guess they only sell out the amount of spots they have. They don't oversell, which is a good thing. And they let you choose here. But luckily, we look at that, guys. We are the first ones here. So, hey, we're going to be getting probably one of the best spots here. Wow, this is a pretty decent size. Now, this is actually my first time camping here on the county line map, which I'm super excited for here. Actually, let's go to this one uh, spot over here. There is going to be a plenty of room here for us. Oh, yeah, boys. This is going to be it here. And we have enough room for a buddy or, if, uh, hey, we can make a friend. And they could park next to us here. But let's get everything folded on out. I do also want to get everything unloaded. I'm just moving the truck now, and we should be good to go, guys. We're all set up. Now it's time to just have some fun. You guys can see I got all the stabilizers. I got the steps even. I'll fold it down those a few back uh, beds, so we're good to go. And I think uh, some extra family is going to be stopping by here, which is pretty cool. But I'm thinking, guys, why don't we hop on uh, the all-new electric ATV? Now, the thing about this, guys, we could be ripping around at like 5, 6 in the morning, and we wouldn't wake anybody up. This is just that quiet. It's a bit different. It definitely doesn't feel as fast, but the acceleration at first, guys, is unbelievable here. Definitely pretty cool. And I, I guess this used to be kind of an old cornfield or something like that here. But wow, you guys can see this is a pretty neat campsite. Now, I do just want to kind of check up on everything here. Let's see, let's see. I just really quickly want to read it here. Okay, so it looks like people should be arriving within the next hour, hour and a half. Like I mentioned, I think I'm going to try to make some friends here. And uh, hey, uh, maybe uh, they'll end up uh, keeping in touch after this trip here. But we'll, we'll just go keep ripping around here in this. Got to watch out for some trees, though. Now, with this electric quad, guys, we do not have a charger with it. Although we do have a generator, I really don't want to use it. And I actually forgot the charging cable here. So we should be able uh, to go the full weekend on one charge here. Might have to be a bit careful towards the end of it, especially since we don't want to have to push that on the trailer here. But hey, let's hop on the Can-Am. Now, I really do wish that there was some small jumps or even some rocks we could go climbing on because this thing, guys, is a beast. Probably one of my favorite mods. You guys, since see just look at that suspension travel back and forth i mean this thing is pretty sweet very well done mod you guys can see we are just gonna go rip around for quite some time Well, guys, I think that's it for the off-road toys. Today's been a, bit, a lot of fun, but I think I'm going to set up a small campfire, just a relax by it, and have a great time with the family. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.